PX3 channel. I'm River Marshall. Uh, me and my two teammates uh, went first in Swiss and then won out the tournament um, for it was a case tourney. So I played Fire, uh, Harrison played Unchained, and Kalen played Fire as well. But my list is different than Kalen's because I'm a better player. Um, so I'll start the list. Uh, so we play, we max out. Alright, so we play 3 Wanted, this is the best card. We play 3 Ash, this card's also the best card. Uh, this card's okay, um, but it says search Ash. So it says it's the best card. It is the best card, but it loses draw. Uh, and then we max out on Dive Roll. Uh, people play 1, 2, and some play 3. If you play 3, you're correct, because this card is crazy. It pushes through too much. Um, 2 Popular, 1 Oak, 1 Flamberge. Um, this could be at one. Um, the reason I play two is because I like it for turn two, three to like continue to push my opponents in. Um, and then Flamberge and Oak are just really good. Uh, for the spells, we play the good cards. Um, what I found in testing was that you needed a second copy, and this is the best one. Uh, not only when you go first, because you get to do some really sick combos, but going second, you can also activate this and the opponent puts any pressure on you, you can just summon the Oak or the Flamberge, whichever one you pick. So these cards are really good and it's becoming more standard, but you should be playing Field Spell. Uh, for the Fire King lines, because these cards suck, we just play one. Um, they don't suck, but they suck enough. Uh, three Karen. Um, this one doesn't suck. This is the best one because it doesn't target anywhere. On its card text, it just says, just do cool stuff. But it also kind of sucks because it needs other cards to be like good. That's like the problem with Viking cards, they just need other cards. Um, unfortunately, I succumbed to streamlining. Um, I used to play Circle, but I cut it because like I was just opening hands where it's Circle and it's just not a card that does anything. Um, and like, even if you full combo, it just adds more inconsistency to like your end boards and stuff. Um, it's still a good card, it's just I wanted to be consistent for the case tournament. Um, and I succeeded in being consistent because I open insane every single game. Um, so play three Ash, three Imperm. These, in my opinion, are good, but suck, but are also good. They're good into everything, um, except sort of the mirror and sort of not the mirror. Imperm, especially in the mirror, just feels like a almost a blank card unless they end on Apo. Um, but you can still like get away with cheeky stuff with these cards, and so they're good enough. You could realistically cut them, but they have to be hand traps, and yeah, like it could be nip droll, but those suck into other matchups. Uh, so instead, we just play board breakers. Um, this cut's good, obviously. Um, the monster reborn and the call by the grave. You have to play this because of shifter, um, and like it's okay against other decks. Um, and this card's just really good. Um, because you open it and then your opponent loses. Um, but the real MVP of the day is this card. This card is so insane. Going into a board or establishing a board, if you have Econ, you just feel 100% safe because usually people play Talents to take the app loser and then you just say uh, Uno reverse card, it's mine again, um, and then they just burn a hard ones per turn. Or like you keep it against the shifter decks and then you can like take a Fenrir or you can take like Flawanderies cards and it's just really good most of the time, especially when you're trying to kill people. Like if you Nibiru, because I side Nibiru, we'll get there. Um, if you Nibiru and you have Econ, it's just the game because that Nibiru should be a 57 token um, or higher and you just take the token, you keep your Nibiru and you just kill them. Um, especially like around Imperm and like all these targeted cards, you just get to you just get to dodge them for free. Like, uh, one of my favorite plays today was summon Diabell, Diabell effect, get Impermed, and then chain the Econ to, to, take a, to take an Apple loser, and I just won that game. Um, because they didn't want to play into talents. Uh, for the side deck, you just do side deck and then extra. Um, this is probably the, the, the thing I'm least happy about is the side deck. Um, again, I just wanted generic cards. Um, this was good enough. Um, I didn't really need it to be Lightning Storm and uh, Duster, um, so, but I didn't sign it in for the mirror at all. Um, and then finally, three anti-spell. I was just scared of, like, soul release, super poly, all these cards, and I saw these in people's lists while I was playing the day. Um, 
these cards are pretty good. Uh, again, like you can't get away with main decking these because they're not good against everything, right? Like these these cards are bad against voiceless, and these cards are like bad against every other fucking rogue deck. Um, and the DD Crows are like fine. You could play Bells, but I prefer Crow because it's just targeted removal, so it's good enough into other matchups. Uh, and then for the extra deck, um, obviously the broken card. This card's broken. This card's broken. Uh, this I really like because it means you make Apo and then your Viking Island turns into a Prometheus. So like you don't lose any bodies. Uh, also becoming standard. Uh, Heater and Dark. I summoned this zero times today. I summoned this twice. Um, I summoned this once, uh, which was in finals. Uh, and then I summoned this zero times because I don't I don't make this anymore. Um, I prefer to spell and trap card zone Avada because Avada is just a good card. That means I have a Vada Fla Flamberge, and like, because I'm playing Econ, I can just send the Flamberge for Econ. Uh, Phoenix, this card's pretty good. Um, I actually made it a few times, especially under Link Rebo, to pop a card by linking with the Flamberge, so it was like Chain Link 1, Flamberge, Chain Link 2, this, and it just outs cards, it's pretty nice. I, uh, again, I never summoned it off of IP, because I don't make IP. Uh, Sunlight Wolf, um, I made this card once, and it was okay. Uh, mainly because we don't make pizza anymore. Uh, two prom. Um, I tried getting away with one, and I can't. So we play two because two is pretty good. I originally was on two, and then I was like, ah oh, man, I'm playing thrusts and stuff, so we can play we can play one. And, yeah. uh, if you are not playing this, you're probably playing it correctly, in my opinion. I think this card is absolutely crazy, especially with Diabelle, because you can you can get to a position where you summon the Selene um, and have Flamberge on field, and then revive the Diabelle, so your field is Diabelle, Selene, Flamberge, link with the Flamberge and Selene, and that's Prometheus and Apo before you've committed your Fire King stuff. So you get to just do really crazy things. Um, yeah, so I really like Selene. I think Selene's really good. I also think that I'm correct. You have to play this card. Um, also into boards, right? Because it's just a link four. Uh, Zeolantis, Apo, Whale, Phoenix. Um, I, I shouldn't have to explain any of this. The the end board that I was aiming for was Apo, um, and then you make Whale into Zeolantis, and then you have Flamberge with Avata here. Um, that way you don't lose to Super Poly. Uh, and if they Cosmic Field Spell, you're still fine, because you still have Gabrunix and Graveyard and Flamberge, and like you can revive the Avada, reviving um, the Do Little Chimera off of the Avada if you really want to. And then you can pop that with Princess, which triggers the, the Whale, and that's just like another card to like pop. Um, so I thought I thought the list was really good. I actually didn't have any complaints consistency-wise. Um, and I think Econ was the craziest card to have. I think that if you are if you're testing for YCS or you're testing for anything, test Econ, see how it goes. Because I think you'll be honestly surprised with this card. Um, that's everything. Don't forget to subscribe to PX3. Uh, hopefully I'll do more profiles later. Uh, and we have YCS soon. Alright, thanks. Bye.